Since the 1800s, this farm has met its fair share of misfortune. Multiple people have lost their lives on this property. It is because of this horrible history that we now believe spirits reside on this land, restless and angry. But we will find these spirits tonight because we are the Poltergeist Pursuers. So our investigation starts here, in the woods outside of the barn. It is said that Arthur Stevenson, the owner of the farm, took his own life here in the 1920s. Just tragic. Right. Anyway, we are going to try and contact Arthur with the spirit box. Arthur, why did you kill yourself? Did you catch that? As I asked the spirit about his death, a light anomaly flew down from the corner and into my hand. Could this be the spirit trying to communicate? Arthur, why did you kill yourself? Arthur, why did you kill yourself? Our names are Indigo and Alley. Can you say that back to us? Well, guys, we're, we're getting an EMS bike. Yeah, it's really f***ing cold. Whoa, that, that is Arthur trying to communicate. Arthur, tell us your present. Our next two pieces of evidence are incredible. The quality has been corrupted by what I can only assume is paranormal interference. But watch closely. Oh my god, did you oh see god. that? Dude, did you see that shadow? Dude, it was like, huge. It's like it was like a man. Tall. Did you get that on camera? Yeah. Laura? Oh, oh my You gosh. got that on camera? Dude. Whoa. Did anyone hear that? Yeah. It's like walking. I just swore I heard like a voice too. Walking in a voice. Did you hear that? It was like, yo. Yeah. Well, a little bit more time period appropriate, like, howdy. Did you hear that? Let's listen again. Whoa, did anyone hear that? Whoa, did anyone hear that? All right, Arthur, please just give us something. We need some evidence from you, man. Please just tell us that you're here. Our camera may have died, but we captured some amazing evidence of the paranormal. Tonight, we confirmed the existence of an afterlife, because we are the poltergeist pursuers. Mm -hmm.